Welcome back to his and her homestead. Today, uh, I was going to show you my latest project. It's not a mini four-wheeler toy. It's not what it is, actually. It is this. We call it Koi. C-U-Y. Let me show you what they are. Come here, buddy. That's what they are. Purely grass fed. They don't dig. Um, they come out with their eyes wide open, fully capable of surviving the elements. They still have to have a little bit of the mom's milk, but they are like uh, completely uh, able to survive like the, the, the weather out here. So, uh, that's just a couple reasons, but it's uh, it sounds crazy, but it's the number one food in Peru and in the Andes Mountains, and a couple other good facts about them. Uh, they gestate for 60 days, which is not that good. That's twice as long as rabbits, but when they come out, you know, they're super uh, tough compared to a baby rabbit. Also, they uh, are pretty good tasting. They don't just taste like chicken, like a rabbit. Um, we haven't had one yet, but that's what we've been reading. So, um, what else? Grass-fed. They need a little bit of vitamin C, but other than that, you can completely raise them on yard grass. Um, right now, we have four females and a male, and they're all unrelated. So, that's our breeding program, and we'll keep you guys updated and let you know how that goes uh, I'll run over the goat pen and see you, show you what we did hold on a second the wife is clearing a spot for a garden and we do uh, the back to Eden method and if you guys remember right here was a fence line you see where those yellow uh, wire holders go all the way down to that corner post way way down there and then it turned and went that way well, what we did is we just left the original pin right there and then used the back fence as the front fence so now that's the front fence sorry I know every time I walk the camper gets really jiggly but so now it's L-shaped but we're still using the uh, poor man's electro netting. But uh, we got those four babies still. And as you can see, they actually do eat cedar. That's a cedar right there. And they trimmed off all the green on that one branch. They're working way down it. But there's the little babies right there. And there, here's the original babies. Oh, he just hit that fence. All right, so that's the update on the goats. Um, give you an update on the rabbits real quick. Okay, so here's an update on our rabbits. Um, two, possibly three of them are pregnant. She is for sure pregnant because she is already started making a nest and pulling fur. She actually likes to build hers on the bottom, which we don't like, but she does it anyway, so... Um, if you can see, she started kind of making a nest and pulling fur. And she's actually not due for a couple, well, for like three or four days. But we'll see how she does. She's had a couple litters successfully, so hopefully she does good. And that squealing you just heard was one of our rabbits breeding, so. Um, and this is the other one we think is pregnant. She's due a couple days after the white one, so she hasn't started nesting yet, but hopefully she will. And then we are currently breeding these two with our big white male, and then that brown and white one is our female. So hopefully she gets pregnant too. It's springtime, so it's time for some babies. Um, like, comment, subscribe, let us know what you think.